Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here. I wanted to come on and talk about how hormone ch changes can impact your gut health. And you might be thinking, wait, this is a thing? It's a thing. It's a thing and it's really important to stay aware of where your body's at with your hormonal cycle as well as other factors like cortisol or stress that are impacting your day to day and perhaps even building up, impacting how well your digestive system works. Mm, yes, yes. Now the other thing I'm gonna mention about this before I dive too down, far down this rabbit hole is, this is not always exact for every person, meaning your specific experience, situation, digestive system might be impacted really differently than somebody else's. For example, if you are somebody who already has thyroid issues, you have some gut issues already, you're like, yeah, I kind of get bloated all the time, or, you know, my, I've had stomach aches, or I've had these other things go on in my life, it's not great already, and then when I'm under stress, it gets even worse. Or at certain times of the month, this crazy thing happens. I get a lot of diarrhea, or I get constipated, or it goes one to the other. What the heck? Here's why, here's what we're gonna talk about. Um, now it's important to recognize that as I'm giving this information, again, because your situation might be a little bit different, you might need more specific guidance for what you have going on. I might describe something and you might be like, yes, that's it exactly. Oh, but that other part, it's actually the opposite for me. That's weird. No, it's not weird. You just might have something different going on internally that's impacting how your system's responding. So if you need help, if you need guidance, I'm gonna put this link right here in the comments to learn more about the one-to-one -one program I have. The benefit of this is that we do a Dutch test, testing your hormones. This is a dried urine test for comprehensive hormones. This checks where your hormone levels are at, estrogens, progesterone, androgens, so your testosterones, cortisols, your stress, your adrenals, all of it, nutrient levels. Very thorough and in-depth, very thorough and in-depth. And we also do a GI mapping letting me know exactly what your system's doing as well internally. Uh-huh, so we can target all the right things. Super fun, super fun. So quick rundown before I start jumping into this fun stuff here. Um, and this is your hormonal cycle. Day one is the first day of your period. Uh, day 14 is about when you would ovulate. Day 28 is the end. Now, if you have had a different cycle recently for whatever reason, this will impact how well your gut works too. Mm, or doesn't work, I should say. Uh, I know, I know. But this is average right now. If you're thinking, um, I don't have a cycle anymore, or I'm on the pill, or I'm in menopause or something, how do I know where I'm at? Remember that you still have these hormones present in your body. And that especially when you go through a whole life hormone change, your entire system functions differently right? Being on a birth control, having hormone replacement of some kind, um, or being in menopause means that this, your system's going to slow down in general. What? Slow down all over the place? Yeah. <laughs> no, I know. It's so great. It's so great, right? It's so great. No, it's not great. I know it's not great. But that's the reality of it. Now, if you do have a regular cycle, right? Estrogen is dominant in the first couple of weeks and progesterone is dominant in the second couple of weeks. Your digestive system will naturally slow down a little bit more when it's in the progesterone phase. That's normal. So if you're feeling like, gosh, I get more and more bloated, or it's harder for me to go to the bathroom, or something's going on here, yes. Yes. And then leading up to, and when you start your period, to have looser stools, very normal. Because your hormones are shifting and changing. And all of a sudden your body and your liver says, ha ha, I know what to do here. We're gonna flush things out, boom. Here we go, floodgates open. <laughs> yeah, yeah, might not be fun, but it's what happens, mm -hmm. yes. So at that hormone change, you can have that when you start your period or even when you ovulate. If you are not feeling good, if you feel like you got hit by a truck at these points, go in the comments, get on that list because that's not normal to feel like you got hit by a truck. But a lot of women do feel like that. So progesterone in general will slow things down, right? What do you mean by slow things down? What do you mean by things get slower? Well, the natural bacteria balance can decrease in there, meaning you have a decrease of the good bacteria that you want. A natural enzyme release that your system has in response to eating, right? That's gonna decrease as well. Now, enzyme release starts in your mouth. A lot of people forget that your digestive system starts in your mouth. Starts here, ends at the other end, right? But if you have a bacterial balance that's off here, so this means that you're, if you're craving different things, eating different things, things taste different to you at different times of the month, you're not crazy 
it has to do with all the digestive system and everything else. Fun, right? Fun. Fun. But the enzyme release can be different in your mouth and all the way through your digestive system, meaning it's harder to break down the food that you eat. Yeah. Decrease in motility, decrease in all that movement, that peristalsis, all that stuff that's supposed to happen. So it can feel like you eat and things just sit in your gut. Yeah. Decrease in blood flow overall to your organs, right? To your, to your intestines and stuff like that. Yeah, that's not great. Now, typically this happens, things slow down a little bit more in progesterone phase. So your body can absorb more nutrient from the food that you're eating. That's normal. Now combine that with an increase in stress, an increase in cortisol. Cortisol really ramps these things up. That's not what we want. That's not what we want. No. Cortisol is going to shut down a motility a ton, blood flow a ton, a ton. That's awful. It decreases the good bacteria as well as increasing the bad bacteria. And it also messes up how well your body can release natural enzymes. This throws off your natural digestive system a ton. So we already have a di different digestive system throughout the month here, right? And then if you go through perimenopause into menopause, everything kind of, you need to do a whole upkeep on your digestive system to keep it functioning and keep it running, right? Now you add stress, you add cortisol into the mix here. It's like putting gas on a, on a fire. <sighs> and not in a good way, right? Mm, yeah. That's why it's so important that you keep your digestive system moving and that you shift what you're doing for your digestive system throughout the month. Now, if this is a new concept for you, oh, welcome. I'm so excited because you should be doing more things to support your digestive system here versus here. Your digestive system works faster here. I'm talking really fast. Your digestive system, your gut works faster here than versus here. It does more here naturally than it does over here. That's normal. Yeah. And if you're feeling that that's not true or you're still having a hard time all month long, again, go in the comments, get on that list, learn how to get a custom protocol for you because this is what your system is going to need. Um, if you're looking for more resources or anything else, um, I have other resources for you. My book, The Female Fat Solution. This is on Amazon talking all about nutrition that matches your hormones and your cycle and everything. And The Female Menopause Solution also on Amazon talking about nutrition for women who are in perimenopause or menopause. Yay! Um, I also have my YouTube channel, which is called Dr. Beth Westy. You can subscribe to that to stay updated on everything I have coming out. And my podcast is called The Female Health Solution. I have some fantastic episodes coming up, so I can't wait for you guys to listen to them. All right, that's what I got for you guys tonight. Please let me know if you have any questions or if you want me to do a deep dive in anything that I've covered here. More than happy to dive into more things so that you guys can get the information that you need. My mission here is just to educate women more on their health, physiology, so that you can make the changes you need to get and keep the right results. So let me know if you need anything else. Otherwise, I will see you later.